Ouija board. New Year. Mary's birthday falls on the 31st of December, the last day of the year. Usually, on this day at midnight, everyone celebrates her birthday and New Year together. This year, Mary's aunt gifted Mary a Ouija board. Mary's aunt knew that she loved horror movies and horror novels, and she also knew that a lot of people will be gifting her a horror novel. That is why she bought a Ouija board for her. Seeing the Ouija board, Mary screamed out of joy and ran to her room with the board. She also called a friend of hers to the room. They both started reading the instructions in the Ouija board box. It was written that after calling a spirit, it is very important to make sure that the spirit is sent back. Otherwise, the spirit possesses the person who used the Ouija board. Mary read all the instructions carefully, and she started using the Ouija board with her friend. They kept a glass at the center of the Ouija board, and both of them kept their fingers on the glass. They then asked, Is there any spirit in this room? In the beginning, nothing happened. But after some time, lights in the room started to flicker, and the glass on the board shifted to the right, where it was written, Yes. This made them really excited. They again asked, Do you feel lonely? And the glass again moved to the right over the yes written on the Ouija board. They both were quite amazed to see what was happening, and they went on to ask all sorts of questions to the spirit. Can you tell me what will the new year bring for me? The Ouija board shook vigorously, and the glass moved on the alphabets marked on the board. F. R. I. E. N. D. Friend. Can you tell me what will happen with my family in the new year? The Ouija board again shook vigorously and the glass moved to different alphabets. N. O. T. H. I. N. G. Nothing. This left Mary confused. She said, how is this possible? There will be something that definitely happens with my family this year. Some events, some occurrences. The glass once again moved to different alphabets. D, E, A, T, H, death. Mary and her friend got terrified seeing this. That is when someone called them from downstairs that it was time to cut Mary's birthday cake. Mary left the Ouija board the way it was and went downstairs with her friend. Mary was handed a knife to cut the cake and just then all the lights in the house started to flicker. Mary's eyes turned completely red and her mouth had become unbelievably big. She shouted so loudly that her jaw broke off and fell off her face. Suddenly, there was chaos. With the knife with which she was supposed to cut the cake, she started stabbing all of her family members and the guests present in that room. Her friend suddenly shouted, We didn't send the spirit back! She has possessed me! And before she could complete her sentence, Mary stabbed her with the knife. All the remaining guests started running from there. After that, Mary, or whoever it was, inside of her, came back to her room and started playing with the Ouija board. That lonely spirit finally got a friend in Mary, and whoever thought of coming in between the spirit and Mary, that person was put to sleep forever. If you like this story, then subscribe to our channel, Bloody Monday Horror Stories, for some spine-chilling horror stories. And don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications on our latest video.